Hello everyone, it's time to talk concertos again. What you're staring at, as far as I know, is basically one of a kind. This is the battery to the compact concerto series. I'm very, very nervous to rebuild this one, but it has to be done. And my tripod right from the get-go is gonna cause me trouble here. If I mess this one up, there are none left in the world. And let's hope that there isn't any corrosion on this thing, because that would really mess things up for us here. So, let us begin taking this apart, shall we? Looks like it's already somebody started on it. Hope that doesn't, uh... Maybe I did, I don't know. I think I did. Yep, well, that's a seam. Uh oh. And you try to avoid doing that. <laughs> yeah, this one's gonna be fun. But basically, it's like anything else. You gotta find a seam and keep going. Slowly keep going is the key here. Hope I'm not off camera. Ah, shit. Yeah, this one is uh, not exactly doing what I want it to do. If I take the slightly bigger screwdriver, use that as a holding point, and just keep going. Did chew it up quite a bit already, which I did not want to do, but that is life. I'll try to do this the best I can in camera. It does have green cells, and this looks like a hot glue one. So maybe if we take the heater... It may do something, I'm not sure, but it does not look like there's any good paths into this battery beyond what I just did. But we'll keep trying. It's all about finding a seam and working, working through the seam. Yeah, this one is just not wanting to come apart today. Uh oh, I think we already cracked it. We're right darn close, so a little bit of room. And this one actually has some snaps on it. That's special. I think we can keep it like that. So I want to open this as slowly as possible. So that's just going to help. Oh, there we go. I think I found a seam. I did find a seam. Bye bye screwdriver. I have no idea where that went. No idea at all. Alright. 
See if we can keep working with this one. I don't feel like hunting for that thing right now. Yep. <laughs> And we're gonna do that now. Awesome. And these batteries definitely corroded, so this may be a fruitless exercise regardless, but we'll keep digging and we'll see what we find. There you go. Starting to get a little bit leeway here. Let's hope that we don't crack it in the end or something or find a really stubborn corner like that one LT Elite battery I tore apart. Definitely, yep, we are starting to break right there, so we gotta be careful. All right, so we got, we're about halfway into this, uh, depending on what uh, optimism or pessimism methods you like to use here. Think. Oh yeah, there's some definitely some glue on this one. So this uh, is a very stupidly designed battery, in my opinion. But there we go. Impossibly even rebuilt at one point. I'm not sure. I can't draw to any conclusions just yet till I fully can see what we got going on here. Nope. Found a seam. We're just going to start working right down the seam and split this puppy open and let's hope for the best. And oh, we're starting to crack. So that idea is not going to work. Darn it, Ed. Well, we're three quarters of the way in, but we do have cracks on each side, so we gotta be real careful. There's also glue on that side. Yeah, I'm not happy with the way Compact put this one together. I think we are going to have to go get some power tools. Just because there is some hot glue in here, I think that might help loosen this up a little bit. All we got to do is get this side, and then we should be able to see our battery and blue display here. That light went off here. <laughs> I 
don't know if that's enough or not, but we're going to find out. I have not seen this much glue on a battery in a long time. But you'll get to see soon enough what I'm talking about. We may have to crack this battery. I really don't want to. I think the hot glue gun did help a little bit. We are past that seam. This time all the way to the end and hope it comes up. Okay, we're in pretty far now. We're in the corner now, for sure. So it shouldn't break that part open. You know what? Let's see if we can get the whole thing out at this point. That might help us. Because we're almost out. And we got Leaky Thomas here. Ah, beautiful. They got the glue crap on the other side, too. All right. We are most of the way out here. I just got to figure out Ew. Maybe not a good idea to do it that way. Well, that's a start right there. Too bad it is ripping awkwardly for me. Point of no return. Okay, another crack. One little corner that snapped off. There you go. One concerto battery. I'd be a liar if I call it my prettiest work. Let's take this sucker out and let's see what we can do here. Get my light back on. The contacts are actually underneath. That's not uh, a typical configuration for these batteries. Ooh, -hoo, this one's gonna be fun. Not. So, there's that. There's the contacts right there. I think this is gonna be a very interesting one to do. At least I don't see a way to take that plastic out. Oh, it just snapped in. Now the question is, can I get those out without breaking those plastics off? And the answer looks like probably. 
At least on the one side that's the case. I don't know about the other side. It's harder than it looks, apparently. Oh, there we go. There. There is the concerto battery. There's the top. And there is the bottom. And this is just a standard Sanyo Cells 4-3rd A. We got a thermostat and a fuse. So a lot of similarities to the LTE light battery packs where you have two split like this and yeah, that's what you got. So that's the opening of a Concerto battery. I don't think it's going to be a very popular video, but here we are. There's probably a better way to do it, but this one just happened to go the way it did. So that's going to be it for me. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, uh, concerns, constructive criticism, you may leave them in the comments section as normal. The next video, you, if you know me by now, will be rebuilding this battery. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching.